look at all the stocks on the back there. This is possibly a stupid idea. I got shot at quite a lot by a lorry driver. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning Holly, what a bee. Big breakdown. It's a drill working there. Fed the coos. The Christmas tarty box is going up and into position. Why is red sky in the morning? Shepherd's morning. Red sky night, shepherd's delight. Why? Why, why is that a saying? Uh, these have to go over the road. Obviously, they've got an arrow pointing to the shop. Um, so I'm just going to take the one at a time. Voila! Christmas trees. How many of those logs are going to get next? We'll get a picture of it and then. Um, I don't like anyone, and I'll get next. If they were just one box high, definitely would get next. So today, sunflowers are getting topped. Kev's just heading out with a plough. I've got a cage on here. Um, I'm going to help the joiner put up a few more sheets, or the last of the sheets. Demo number two has arrived. Number two is shiny anyway. But yeah, it's still T7210, same as what we've got. Spools are different. Slidey wee open things different to the old design, I'll show you the old one. So that's a new demo to try. New Holland T7 210, almost identical to this tractor, other than it's got an auto command transmission, so it's like the New Holland Vario. So you kind of just set whatever speed your top speed wants to be and touch the accelerator and away it goes and there's no change in gears and whatnot. Okay, I'm just gonna try it out for the day, we've got it for the weekend, I'll take it for a while at some point, try it out. After being in the class demo, that's one thing I do appreciate is in the new horn, there's a nice quiet cab, noticeably quieter. There's done topping all these sunflowers, I'm just heading out, there's still one bale which was a viewing platform. Some hacking down these sunflowers. The stalks are like. That's a great shot. There's the trail. You can kind of make out where it was around there and whatnot. But yeah, they're just rotten through the middle. Hack them down. They take a right path and look at all the stalks on the back there. It's effectively a 20 acre field. Because he has to double pass them, goes over the top, but a meter off the ground and then comes back down again, otherwise they just get flat. And even at that, you still get off, left with quite a lot of stock. There we go. Need to go back out with the bucket and get all those wee small hay bales. Lorry just arrived for feed barley. So, drop this off and then get that loaded. Barley lorry, just get the big bucket on. Where is the big bucket? Bit hazy up there, could do a clean. This is bucket number 10, so barley just shy of two tons really in a bucket. Just needing about 750 kilo now, so just got a wee half bucket in there. I'll get a toot of his horn once he's full. There you go. That means he's full. We touch on the brakes there, level it off. Bit of a dent. I've opened a can of worms. The local dealer for Massive Ultra Fend. Pitched up um, and in then some brochures. So there's a demo of something coming. I told them not a Fend. Not really in our budget. The Ultra are Massey, so I don't know what's going to pitch up. 200 horsepower or so. Tell you what, they wind up some height. Here's where the sprayer went. Found a few of the dodgy thrown horseshoes. Um, these are a few bills to go as well. And I think there's bales at the bit that was Jumbo Jenga as well that I need to go and get. So we're venturing in. Pick up these. Needing this for the Jumbo Jenga that's still out in the field. I forgot it was still out there. Uh, that's the last of it. I need to make sure and remember not to drop the boom because there's my Jenga. But that's pretty much it. Sunflowers wiped up. 
sunflowers again next year. I've got a plan and you're not getting to know the plan. We're going to struggle this year to grow as good a crop, well next year, grow as good a crop as this year because this year was just as soon as we planted them it was just sunshine for 10 weeks straight. It was a bit of a freak year last year with the weather, it was just phenomenal. Especially in Scotland, we're doing well to get the same again. We'll try. I forgot. it'll be all right. I think I've just squashed one of those blocks down into a gap that didn't really exist, but it's all right. Right, well, I'll wait and see how Kev's getting on with this uh, tractor with a Vero gearbox. I think Kev's up in this field somewhere, over the top there. There he is, seagulls. So the tractor, so far Kev really likes the transmission. Best transmission he's driven in New Holland. The auto commands was pretty smooth. Other than a wee bit whiny when you're kind of changing, you're, you're accelerating and you're winding off. Other than that, really smooth. Just had a go in there. That's that's why the boiling's all squint now. We'll just not, we'll, we'll not bother showing that. You want to see a big egg? So this is a medium egg. I'm going to place it next to a belter of an egg. That's a medium egg. This is today's egg. Put it in next to the mediums. Got a bit of scaffolding done there, but as you can see, there's a lot of there. A load of wheat just going away, so we'll get that loaded up. And I've just been told there's another one at four o'clock, and it's 20 past three just now, so just be coming in right behind it. Get this boy loaded up with wheat. Get that trailer out of the road so we can get in at that corner. No rape going away for a while, so just chuck the trailer there. This is possibly a stupid idea. Another one away, uh, loaded up, camera didn't fall on the trailer, thankfully. Just need to get a passport for that boy and then there's another lorry coming in 20 minutes. <laughs> and he was out walking his dog so I need to sweep up that wheat. And I just shifted, there's a bit in the corner that can do it. Pull it out, get that done before the next boy arrives. Hopefully he sweeps up. Another sea cliff lorry away, get quite a lot of sea cliffs. Here it comes, last one of the day. Not gonna put my phone on the bucket this time. Chance my luck, I got away with it. Getting through it, this is number seven, hope I remember. Right, we're at about load number, bucket number 12. I've lost count to be honest. Hopefully he's paying attention, although he's not sweeping. One ton left. That's another load away. Get this swept up. Uh, he's touching on the brakes as well. Most of them hit the brakes just to get a level load for when they're hauling it. They don't want kind of uneven load at the front or at the back, so just level it off. Makes it easier for them driving. I did once when I was younger, load the, a load and I put loads in front and I got shouted at quite a lot by a lorry driver. You put up a fairly expensive muckle shed and you brush up with a brush. That's in two pieces. But I need to bed the coos now. Get the lights on in here. Got one wheeler in there already, grab a couple more, that'll keep them going. They're also needing a morning straw. I get them every second day, really.
Get a bit of a sweat on doing that. There's a couple of fiery ones in there, just need to keep an eye on them. Just start rolling out straw and they just do laps around about you. Don't fancy it. 700 kilos coming up the back end of me. Right, thank you very much for watching. They need ammonia straw on that side, but since I bedded them, they'll not eat a lot tonight. So I'll feed them in the morning. What about my side?